Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Wondershare free video converter that you can get from the Wondershare website. And Wondershare is a company that offers a large variety of different software that you can license to do everything from recording to video editing to audio work and video conversion. And I think there's a few others in there as well. Um, one of their things is they have a free video converter, although I say free, but really what it offers you is like a watermarked trial where if you convert videos with it, it'll put their watermark of Wondershare in it so that they get advertising in the form of your video if you don't pay for it. Uh, so I'm going to show you how their system works here today so you can decide if this is a video converter that you want to try and possibly buy because you have to spend like, I want to say like $50, like a lot of video converters in order to buy a perpetual license or I think they offer you like a one year subscription for like $30 or a one month for like nine, depending on what you need. Um, so this would be one of those more premium solutions. So the first thing you need to do is let me de delete my old converted video. So we're going to go into my sample videos and I've converted some of my old tutorials into other video format types like this one's an MOV video and then the other one is an AVI video. And I'm going to show you how the conversion system works so that you can kind of get a feel for it. So the first thing you should see when you import a video is you should be able to preview that video through the video converter itself. And if it can't preview the video, then that would probably mean that it's broken or otherwise doesn't work very well. And it doesn't matter if it's laggy because some of these videos are uncompressed, which means they're a huge video file, which takes the computer a moment to read. So playback can be a little bit stuttery. Oh, right. But both of these work, so that means that we're, we're in business and we can get started. Now, this is the source video file on the left-hand side. This is what we're converting from, and what we're converting it into, or the target video type, is on the right. And here, we can click on this little window, and they've got a whole bunch of different templates that you can work from. If you're not super familiar with, like, different file types, you can just start from one of these and see if that works for you. Alternatively, because I am kind of familiar, I can just create a custom video type. But this thing can convert into basically everything. It can make a uh, HEVC uh, MP4, which is the one that uses your graphics card's hardware acceleration to process it really quickly. It can make an Apple MOV, an MKV, an AVI, M4V, WMV, all of these different video and like audio file types you can create, including flash videos, if you still use that. Um, it's a really robust converter, but again, not 100% free. Or at least the, uh, the, the trial version is, is fairly limited in that it puts a giant watermark on your work, which kind of sucks. Uh, so I'm just going to make a standard MP4. So I'm going to create a custom one. I'm going to select the MP4 the H.264 encoder, which is the MP4 one. I'm going to set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 because that's what I want. I know that the bit rate is around 25,000. I know the frame rate 60. I want it high profile and I want it 5.1. And then for the audio, I want that AAC. I want it two channel. The bit rate should be 320 and it should pop up the option to pick the highest one, which is 320. And then for the sample rate, I want 48,000 hertz, and I will create that. So that is our source video. And I don't know why it freaked out and opened my window again. Um, so now we can convert that one. And if we want to change this other one to a completely different file type as well, we definitely can. So I can go under video and like, let's say like this is an AVI video, but I would really like to have this in like, I don't know, a, a Windows media volume. And I want to have this HD 1080p, and that will give me 
What are the specifics of this? Let's edit this. I want this as high as it'll go. Although it seems to be limited to only 30 FPS, which is kind of poopy. So we'll put, we'll jank this up as high as it'll go. And then I want the bitrate to be like 30,000 kilobits per second. And then I want WMA9 to channel. And then I want this at 512 kilobits per second. That all looks pretty good. And then I will create that and use that as our basis for this one. And you can edit any of these presets at any time. Like if I go in here, I can edit this one. Well, I guess I just have to create a new custom one. Um, I can edit this one if I want to change it up a little bit, if I need to. And actually, it looks pretty good. So, yeah. You can, at any time, if you want to pick one of these other presets and edit it, there's a little edit window here with this arrow. Kind of looks like, well, it's more of like a pencil editing on a piece of paper. But you can click on this and you can tweak the settings manually and just use the preset as a starting point. And then once you're done, you're pretty much good to go. You can select an output down here. You can say same as the source folder, or you can put it in a new location. I actually opened up my preferences up in the upper corner, and I, under location, selected a default location called Wondershare in my video converter output file in order to store all of my videos. So I like to keep stuff in a location that I know where it's going to go, I know a lot of people out there that edit video have more than one hard drive to put stuff on, so just make sure it's one that you've got space in for all the stuff that you're trying to convert. And so from there, I'll just hit Convert All. And it's going to warn me, because I haven't purchased this product yet in any way, shape, or form, that it's going to put a big Wondershare watermark in the lower right-hand corner. For the purposes of testing that, it's not a big deal, but again, if you actually want to use this as like something for like, either work or something you literally want to like create for fun and don't want to have someone else's branding in your stuff, that might be an issue. But I'm just going to continue the trial for right now, and we'll see how well this does at converting these two videos. So the first video is an MOV video, and it's about a little under three minutes long, and it's going to take it, oh, not terribly long to convert. Oh, it's going to do both of them at the exact same time. Oh, okay. So it's going to take about 10 minutes to do both of the videos at the exact same time. That's not terrible. I, it's not what I was expecting. Normally, normally these types of converters will do one, and then they'll do the next one. So if you find that your computer is getting bogged down because it's converting all of them at the same time and it's having problems, you might end up having to click convert and then convert again so that they do them one at a time and they don't hork down your computer. Okay, so the first video ended up finishing in like a minute and a half. It went pretty quick. This one ended up taking close to um, 15 minutes to complete. So while this one's finishing for like another minute, let's take a look at that other one that just finished converting. So under Wondershare, the first one was the .NET bug fix. Let's grab that one. Okay, so quality-wise, this one actually looks pretty good. It plays really nice. Um, it's still pretty crisp and sharp. Obviously, because I didn't pay for this, it's got that giant watermark at the bottom, but it produced a nice smooth running uh, mp4 video that we can then let's assume it doesn't have the watermark i could then import into my video editor or just throw up onto the web if i so choose you can even put it onto a smartphone to play back at somebody you know some later time with like friends or family or something so that turned out pretty well and then this one is just about done you can also go through here and like click up here at the top and you can rename the videos that you exported before they get exported. Like you can't go back and use this button to rename it now. It's already been exported right here. But if you wanted to rename whatever you're converting so that's like blah 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 dash converted or whatever, you totally could. And there's also some basic 
subtitles that you can add, and I believe it also supports adding some really basic effects. You've also got the op options to like download a video from a URL on the web. They have a tool for that. They've got a tool to burn DVDs and discs, and they've got a tool to transfer files to your smartphone. If your smartphone doesn't typically behave itself for like working like a USB thumb drive. And there's also some other things that you can download from them that's shown in the toolbox, like image converters and metadata fixers and CD rippers and all that stuff. But mostly we're just interested in this. So let's see what the, the AVI conversion ended up looking like. So same thing, it ended up being relatively smooth and it's as crisp as the original video was for the VLC media player tutorial. And outside of the big uh, watermark, it's not too bad. So if you were looking for a pretty powerful converter and you find yourself using them a lot and you wanted one that's pretty reliable and comes with a bit of tech support, you don't get as much tech support with just buying a one-time license, but you do still get entitled to some. This would be a pretty good option for you, and it's got a few other frills and thrills, like ripping and messing around with DVDs. So if you're looking for that and or maybe you're just already have this and you're just looking at how it works. Um, this is the rundown. It's decently robust, takes in pretty much every video file and converts it to the vast majority of video files. And it's relatively easy to use. It's the free video converter from Wondershare. Check it out for yourselves. I will put links in the video description. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.